Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna to show you how to take your show it form and just customize it a little bit to suit your brand and just so it's not so boring looking. Sorry, to that open. Um, so what I've done is I've loaded it into a show it template just so I can show you like live edits of what we're changing and how it changes the display of it because you can't see everything in the Dubsado uh, form creator. So what I've got here is I've got Google Chrome, it embedded in show it and I've also got um, the developer tools tab opened so I can inspect a few elements within it. So first thing I want to do is I want to pull a code block in. Stick it above here because if you put it down here it's going to create a space between your email section and the submit button. So up here and we just want to take this where it says hello world and we just want to change it to a style tab. There we go. So this is what we start with and in here uh, this little line here represents just the end of this section so we're going to put all the styling in here and it will show up here and in the show it thing. So first of all what I want to do is I want to inspect my element here and see what this box is called. So if I click on here, form control, so you'll see that's what it is. So we're going to take this, if it lets us, there we go, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in here along with a stop and anything we put in here it should alter this. So for example, if I set this background to black right now you'll see it update. No, I don't want a U. Sorry, I'm in the UK, so it just gives me UK color, the word color, and it won't work if I do that. So there you go. I've updated it to black, and you'll see it's automatically pulled it through. If I save it, and then refresh this page, there we go. It's black, but we don't want it black. The color we want is over here. Hi, Bailey. This is how I work with a cat. Come on. So I'm going to put this lovely pinky colour and you'll see automatically updates and I want it at 40% opacity, opacity. So I just type 40 after it and there you go, you'll see it's faded already. So remove it and then add it. Again, if we save this and refresh, there we go, so already we've added a new colour to it. So what I want to do now is I want to make the text in the cent centred and capital. So, text transform to uppercase. You'll see it's done it already. And what did I want to do? I wanted to make it central. Text align center. There we go. So you'll also see it's pulling uh, the sections and the settings of the form into those colors and text, but that's fine, don't worry about that. It only does it for the, the one with the code block in it. It doesn't do it for your entire Dubsado. So already we're, we're halfway there. If I save this and just make sure it's all updating. There we go, see, great. So what I want to do now is I'm gonna change this border. So you'll see it's kind of got the gray border. I want to just remove that small radius and I want to remove the color of the border as well. So, border, Bailey, yeah. I'm going to set that to zero pixels of a radius and I'm going to set just the border to just not display. There we go. So you'll see there's still a faint line up at the top there, almost looks like a like a bevel almost. I'm just going to check if it's on this page as well and yes it is. So we're going to remove that as well. So this is where this tool comes in handy. So we select here and then we hover, click here and if we scroll down we'll see something, box shadow. So if I untick this then you'll see web shadow ticks. So untick that, untick web shadow, it disappears. So what that means is we're going to have to take both pieces of these codes and just remove them. So copy it paste it right on the floor come on sorry <laughs> and again just type none and then we had a webkit one as well dash webkit by the looks of it none so if I save this that should remove that section amazing gone so what we want to do now 
is I want to actually remove this because it says please forward your email so this section here is unnecessary. So if I hover over it, click on it, you'll see it's called a JB-form label. Highlight and copy. JB form label, display none. Close and save. Perfect. So we have this pretty much what, what we how we want it. If I type, you'll see the text is in black. I want to change that to like a navy blue type color. So what I'm going to do is here, uh, where's my text color I want to change that to? Here we go. So I'm just grabbing hex codes. For that, because we're ready within the form, I just want to change just color. And I'm going to set that as important as there's normally a few things in Dubsado that would overwrite that. So if you've got any, um, say this isn't to the exact style codes you've put into your account. So say your account, you've set your text for black. Uh, black might override it. So just if I put the important at the end, it just makes sure it's overwritten it. There we go. And you'll see the blue color there. Like you can see, this is kind of, I'm assuming this is the blue color here as well, but the submit button is not that color before we actually press it. So what I want to do now is we're going to do the submit button. So here's where the uh, visual version of it really comes in handy just because um, you can't see the submit button on the actual form. So we're going to do some more inspecting. Submit button dot btn. Great. Go in here and I'm just going to take a few new lines, paste it. So here again, we're going to change the background color. And where's the hex code I want for that? Here we go. Important. Save that. And we'll see. Uh, no, what have I done? Aha, there you go. Didn't put the end bit in. That's also why <laughs> a visual thing is handy because if something's not showing up right, you can tell it's broken. Hmm. Okay, so I might... That's not showing up the color I want it, but that's fine. We'll get to that. So next, I again just want to remove the borders and the radius. So I'm just going to copy it from here, paste it down here, save, and refresh. There we go. See? What else I'm going to do is I'm going to... make it uppercase. So I'm looking at it thinking, what am I doing here? I should have written this all down. I'm going to make it uppercase. There we go. Right. And I'm going to also set it into the center. So we want it centered underneath here. So this, I have a piece of code I've already got here. So I'm cheating a little bit because we need to change the float of it. There we go. So just text the line to the center, float none, because otherwise it's going to lock it to the left, lock it to the right. So we just want none on both those. Close that and save. I'm going to paste that piece of code in the comments, the description down below, just so you can copy that. There we go. And I also want some space at the other sides of it. So I'm just going to change the padding on it as well. So for this, we need to do padding dash left, but I just set it to 100 pixels, and padding dash right, because if you just do padding overall, it does it top and bottom as well. So it's going to put 100 pixels to the left, 100 pixels to the right, and to the top and the bottom, and it's just going to look like a weird square. So we'll do that, and there we go. So now I just want to change the text color on it, so I want to have it the same as the other color. So I want to just copy this, 
paste it down below. There we go. And if I save, hopefully we'll be blue. We are. But the background's blue too. <laughs> Something's going on here. Do, do, do. Background color. Is that meant to be button color? Ah, uh, no, it's not. I put a U in it. Stupid British spellings. And now if I save it, everything should be correct. Hey, hey, see, and that is why you always need a visual just version of what you're doing. <laughs> so you can tell when you're doing something wrong. Oh, gosh. So, yes, that is uh, how you change it. So we've changed your, we've removed your shadows. We've changed the color. We've changed the sizing of it. We've changed where the button placement is. Everything. So now all I want to do is just make it kind of the same the same sizes. So if I click on this, you'll see this text is, I want to say 18 pixels. Yep, font size 18. So what we're going to do, oh no, I'm just going to go in here, change the font size here. I'm also just going to put importance after it just in case something's trying to override it. And I want to save that and refresh it. What am I doing? And there we go. You'll see they're the same size now. So yes, that is how you edit your form. This will work for full forms as well, not just a uh, lead capture. So if you do this, it will change all of your uh, sections within here. So for example, I want to add. Yes, <laughs> an answer. Yes, what was, what was I on about? And I want this answer to placeholder. Again, I've just gone for a UK spelling. Um, there we go. I want to save that and refresh. There we go. So all of your new uh, sections you add in will now be this color, but I'm going to remove that, save it. And there we go. You now have a nice styled lead capture for your Dubsado. So yeah, let me know if you've got any questions on this. I'm going to paste the code I used uh, down below, but I'm going to leave all the colors in it blank so you can just kind of do as you wish with it.